Welcome back to Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome continuing our Mega City Challenge. So today I want to take down the Gaelic Federation here and try to make a client state out of Tyronia and add all this with them. Just because I want to make a big client state on Roman's borders over here. So that means we can have, I think what this would do is that with all of Hispania and this we could have a massive front on here which would probably occupy the Romans quite significantly. Which means then what we could potentially do is... I have a massive badass Merc army and just invade Sardinia, Corsica, and Sicily. I'm very tempted to go for Sicily because it's pretty easy to get there. And if I can have control of the island fairly quickly, we can lock it down. And that I would like. Or I think maybe even better would be Sardinia and Corsica. Because that means Rome would have to send troops over bit by bit on the boats. And we can easily fight them off on the beaches, increase a war score, and then like pretty much try and piece them out that way. So I think I'm going to go towards that. Uh, but anyway, we've got a couple of mercs here that I can go. I'm going to declare war now on these guys. Just because it's just the easiest thing to do. I'm going to declare one you. We'll do it. Bring all of our friends in, of course. Everyone joins. Take Aquitania. Let's go. Bim, bam, and bloody boom. Now, all of the men are here anyway, so I don't need to wait for them to come back now. Nope, they're quite next door. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to send you guys down here. I want to occupy as much as possible and try again to fill up our like, city with as many goddamn pops as possible. I've got quite a bit of room left, so I think we're fine for the moment. The reason why I declare war now is I didn't want my clients to demobilize and then they'll have to like wait then to remobilize their troops and that's not something that I want them to do so the reason why I declared war straight away. Um, anyway, on time devotion, free stability, thank you. We're quite low on that so it's always nice to get a little bit back. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to go and take this. Hopefully I can catch this guy. A great wonder been built there. I don't know where the AI gets the gold from to build these things because I mean I need so much gold to build my great wonders but I don't have gold to do it. So, Oh well. How's your enslavement efficiency? Wow, 21%. That's pretty damn good. Uh, we've got the extra pop capacity again, and that ups us to 582 now, maximum, which is good, which is good. It's what we want. It is what we want. Now we need to try and occupy as much as we can here, while our friends occupy, of course, as much as their land as possible. I'm going to let them do the sieging, and I just want to take the different pieces of land here so we can try and get pops into Palmer. So we've got three to Palmer there, an extra three pops. We can easily quickly get a fair amount. And honestly, this is the best way for raiding, I think, for slave raiding. It is working pretty well. Unless you have the Greek traditions where you can use your ships to slave raid the coastal ports. That is a great way to do it, but we don't have that for the moment. The reason why we are doing it this way. Um, anyway, you've been reorganized more than enough, my friend. You're now going to go and start sieging this down. Have you all joined in? Yeah, they've all joined in, which is exactly what we wanted. And then, of course, I can take the rest of these guys out at some point. I don't have the PI to make the claim at the moment, but oh well. It doesn't change anything, really. A couple of extra pops there, which is good. Now we're going to go and siege this down. Actually, I might go over here and take control of the siege. Um, apparently, this guy's been a douchebag. But I'm going to turn the other cheek here for the moment. I don't want really want to see you as getting to see him as a rival. A loose ability for Omen Power and just tech investment. Yes, please. Now, in terms of tech, I am going down the military section for the moment because I want to get as much discipline as I can get, I think, for the moment, which would be quite nice. Cohorts and promotion for Valor, all that sort of stuff, just for the discipline to help us with the Roman forces because, of course, Rome are going to have a shed load of, um, kind of bonuses. And I do want to make sure that we can stand up to the fact that they're finding us. Now, I'm not going to be spending any more of my military experience for the time being. And by the way, you guys have got no food already. Wow, I need to take that pretty quickly. Um, I am in control of this siege, but this needs to fall pretty quickly because I have no food. And then hopefully this means that we can resupply. Yeah, we're losing, we're losing Merc pretty quick. Hopefully we can get this done fairly fast. I might launch an assault at some point. If I get a breach, I've got a supply sorted. Shame we didn't get a breach there. Oh well, do I have any more room? We do. Now, I am very tempted to get another fort. Just because if Rome do come in with... If I declare war on Rome and they come in and try and take this down, I'm going to lose a lot of pop. So I am going to get another fort level here, just for the time being. Because I can. I have enough pop room for the time being, so I don't need to really worry about it. Uh, Defender Desert. Um, wow, that actually fell with basically nothing. That is pretty damn crazy. Um, now I'm going to move further forward here. We'll try and occupy this. And now we're going to be resupplying because we have the provincial capital. So whatever happens, we're going to be getting some food back. And we're not going to be losing any. Um, who wants to become a client? Consorania. Who's that? 
Uh, these guys now. Nah, our current arrangement's fine. I don't want them becoming a client. The client, I need it for the other guys. Um, one extra prop there has been taken, which is good. We'll just go up here. Yeah, these are gaining food back now. So I'm not worried. We have the provincial capital. Have you done? 35%. Hopefully that will fall pretty quickly. And of course, we'll just keep marching up north and keep just occupying everything. And this, like, we're funneling them down here, by the way. They can't come across this way, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to deal with you. There we go. These guys done. 332 defenders left. Hopefully this will fall pretty quickly. No, it didn't fall, which is pretty strange. Food-wise, how are we doing? I still need more. To... Yeah, we're just going to keep pulling in grain now. Because as we're going to be gaining pops, we're going to be kind of needing more and more and more and more food to feed these guys. Which is vital. And then we'll keep moving up and hopefully we'll be able to like piece them out fairly quickly. Now we've beat you there, which is good. We'll go next door. We'll quickly have this. Actually, no, we'll go over here now. We'll take this out. Pretty quickly, you're going to go and take this out down there. Oh, God, there's a 17k stack coming this way, which is not good. Let's authorize attachments. Um, I'm actually going to go back here pretty quickly. Hopefully these guys are going to attach with me. Oh, I think they have. And I think they can join me to take out a 17k stack here. Yeah, they are. We're going to join together, which is fine. Do I have any more building slots? I do. I'm very tempted to get another fort level, but I'm at my maximum in terms of fort capacity. Is there anything I can do? I mean, level 3 fort is okay, I suppose. I could slow them down quite a bit with a level 3 fort. Hmm. I don't want to exceed the limit, so you know what? Let's just go for another, another aqueduct. It's, it's, it's a sure way forward. Um, someone died, by the way. Who died? Oh, the, the tax man did. That's a shame. And I have a few scorn people. They're going to put the green guy. And I'll get rid of another green dude, I think. In place of somebody else. Maybe you I can get rid of in place of somebody else. Maybe one of the scorn family members. I don't think I have too many. I'll place... Oh, you're really bad. Merc arm mate, so I'm not going to get rid of you. So, I'm just going to get rid of this guy, to be honest. I'm not really bothered about him. The apothecary. I'll place you. You're pretty decent enough, so you'll do fine. Uh, did we win? We won that fight, but that was pretty damn close. It was closer than I would like to admit, to be honest. How many pops are here? I'm going to get this. And we've got one pop in the farmer. So we'll just keep moving forward, and we'll just keep kind of slowly edging up here and keep occupying everything that we can. Five, five, five pops now. I would love to be able to get some more influence, some more PI. Am I still scheming influence? I am. Hopefully we can have a big PI buff at some point, one of the events. Um, so I'll move you further forward. Keep going. 35% here. Um, yeah, I'll gain the of armies yeah, for 10%. 10% for 24 months. That is fine. That's a good event. And it's the Merc Commander. It's 100% loyal, so whatever. I mean, I'm not bothered about him losing loyalty. But let's take this pretty quickly. Well, he's still not fallen. Don't be kidding me. Doesn't matter, we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep occupying stuff, and we're going to get it, keep getting pops. Keep filling it up, and as it fills up, we're going to keep building um, more buildings and more, more aqueducts and stuff, which is fine. So we dealt with you, now you're going to move further north. It's just a question of eating up the rest of the guys now. We've got you, you're going to move there. This is actually fairly simple, I, I, I'm, I'm not worried at all about this. We have so many goddamn men that we can literally... Literally smashed the guy. I don't want to trade with you. I don't want to lose the bonus. Alright, we've got that. I am going to go down here now. I'm going to follow these guys. I don't want to go too far away, to be honest. It is a little bit risky. They do have 29,000 men. But I think that if we can get them before they band together, in terms... Yeah, before they get the morale back, I can take them on. But let's get you guys back quickly. Hopefully these guys are going to join me in the fight. There's 30,000 of them. 30,000 with low morale is very, very tricky for them. So if I can band together 20-odd thousand and get these guys in there now, we should be fine. Yeah, we're going to beat this guy. We're going to knock him back pretty hard. And I have the province here, but we don't have this one. I'd like to get it for the food. All right, come on, let's get in. Yeah, we're smashing this guy. He's got no morale, so he's dead. He's literally dead. So that's, like, that's that guy screwed. And we're going to move over here now, try and take this down... Um, You've got no food, so I am going to get you guys back over here to resupply, I think. Yeah, you're going to go and resupply in here. There is some food available in this province, so we'll go and get it. No reason why we can't. Extra aqueduct again. The fort's taking quite a while to build. 
unfortunately. I should have probably built it afterwards, to be fair. Can I take control of the siege? I already have control of the siege, which is good. Now there's not many guys left to kill. Uh, Rome finished the war against Egypt. What happened? They didn't take it. They didn't manage to. And I think we'll go to war with Rome as soon as they go to war with someone else. Like the Antigonids or something. As soon as that happens, then I think we can go. I, th I, th I think maybe, yeah, I think the next war against the Antigonids will take them out. That's got to be the best thing to do. It's got to be the best, best way to see things. Um, how am I going to do this now? Let's see, let's see, let's see. We've got 35% here. You guys are resupplying. So, I think, it, yeah, there we go. We, wow, six pops to farmer there. That's pretty damn crazy. All right, we'll move further forward. Let's go. You guys are just going to occupy the rest of the stuff. And we'll move you over here. And all we have to do now is deal with this last guy. Uh, Punic slave and farm become freemen or we gain gold. Yeah, we gain some extra freemen in there because I want some extra men. Um, honestly, I, I really do. We have quite a decent sized levy now, to be honest. It is getting pretty good. I would like more, though. The more we have, the better it will be, literally. Do I have any more pop room? I do. God, I can just get so much stuff here. So many extra aqueducts. I'm dealing with our limit. Got another 10 room, I think. I would love to have a little bit more PI. I would love to have an event that give us a load of PI. It, it would be fantastic if they could do that. Right, you're going to go here. We're going to move further along the coastline. Of course, our, there's 27,000 of them there, though. I might actually band together to deal with them. I mean, I think it's going to be worth it. Let's go and help these guys. I'm going to go and band with them. Yeah, they're, they're joining to help out. No, actually, we've got them. We, we've got them on morale. We have so much extra morale to these guys that there's nothing that we can do. Like, literally. Alright, new Chancellor is needed for the best expansion change. And we'll place the best man for the job, which is you. What's our techies like? Our techies are pretty good. Um, get rid of this green guy for this green guy, who's way better. We're at, what, level 20 tech? Pretty damn crazy. We have three over on Rome, but Rome has still managed to maintain an incredibly high amount of... Um, tech level, which is pretty damn insane. Rome have won the adult war with Macedon in Egypt again. Take Boeotia. Yeah, this is going to be the time we're going to strike. As soon as we finish this war, I'm going to try and take Rome on. I need to try and break them up. It's the only way we're going to be able to do it. So we'll definitely try to break the guys up as soon as possible. Um, so you've taken this. That's a couple of extra pops. We're going to take his capital down. We're going to go and take his fort down. We need to really hurry up and get these guys piecing out as fast as possible. Really as fast as possible. Fort's nearly done. The navy is pretty decent. But not decent enough. I'm, I've got enough gold to last for quite a while. Oh god, there's actually... Um... Alright, this isn't cool. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I think my, my guys here have pretty much lost that fight. At least the reinforcements are coming, though. My clients are going to be dealing with the damage. Now we're going to take this out. As soon as he's all occupied, we will out. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. I really need to speed this damn thing up. I'm declining the offers because I don't want to lose the capital bonus. Alright, I'm under attack by this guy. I'm hoping we can hold off and beat him. I think we can. I oh, actually beat him there, which is pretty strange. Uh, yeah, here we're going to beat him. I think we're going to beat him before they arrive. We've got him. Yeah, we've got him. We've got him. We've got him. And they're just going to shove wave after wave at us here. And we're just going to crush them. Apart from this one. Hopefully this 4k stack is going to join. We do need him to join. Yeah, he's joining in here. I don't even need to check the tactic, to be honest. Because I think we might win without that. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I would, of course, get rid of these mercs when we're done. How much more? Do I have more room? I do. Another one, so we got we can get four aqueducts now. Then once we've got that, I'm going to bang on a provincial investment. Hopefully that's not going to take too long. All right, and then I can piece out one by one, make a big client, and then take on Rome. Are they pieced out already? I oh, you got to be kidding me! That was a quick war. I was hoping for something a little bit better. Oh well, we'll wait. I might actually be able to take these guys off over here, but I don't have a claim. I could potentially declare war for show superiority, but it might not be worth it. All right, I don't think I have enough food here. I think we're going to be running out pretty quickly. Oh, yes, 24 PI for stability. Thank you. I'm taking that. I really am taking it. And this is going to allow me to bang on another infrastructure spending. Of course, 2.5% pot capacity. And of course, with all the aqueducts we've got, this is like literally stacking. 
which is crazy. And our pot capacity should be really damn big. Come on, come on. I know we can do something here. I, I know I can go quite far. I mean, the amount of men we have coming through with our clients is pretty damn useful. I still need more, though. Oh, there's a 21k stack there. That's not good. Where's the rest of the guys? There's an 11k stack here. It's just because they take a while to arrive. I don't even think Numidia's arriving. Yeah, they're, they're not really moving, to be honest. But oh well. Alright, let's go and take out the last of their... Yeah, let's go take out the last of their guys now. Actually, there's a load. They have 30 odd thousand men. I may need to hire some more mercs. Yeah, I'm going to need to hire more mercs. I need to go and pick these guys up pretty quickly. And I think I might try and hire some mercs. Hmm. Well, what if I can separate piece you? Yeah, I can make you a client. I've got your capital, so I can make you a client. So this gets rid of this guy. I think. So, you're going to be a client today. Okay. So that's dealt with. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer this to... Oh, I can't transfer it because they're not in the war. So I'm going to have to hand this land piece by piece. If I can't take it myself. But I can. I think I can take it all. Yeah, I can take it all. I'm going to have to do it this way. And I'm going to have to hand over the land piece by piece. There's, there's no other way I can do it. So, let's make the claim. Let's just do this. Again, I'm going to increase the regional power, but I'm, I'm not really bothered. I'm going to kind of banish the guys, to be honest, for the moment. Just get aggressive expansion down. I have some great wonders now in my control, but that's not what I want. I'm going to have to sell these guys land piece by piece. It was the only way I could do it. And I just want this as a client. I, I really do. It's just going to be super goddamn useful. Now, all this is done. I'm still making some more pop room, which is quite nice. Rome are not on the big wall. But this is good. This is going to give us a little bit of time to prepare now. Um, I, don't, I have to invite people. God damn it. I'm, I don't really care who I'm inviting, to be honest. I, I, I'm going to get rid of them anyway pretty quickly. So now I can up the... Actually, we'll get rid of these mercs that I don't really need now. I'll get rid of you. I'll also get rid of the other guys. They literally don't need them. And now it's a question of trying to stockpile as much gold as possible. So now I've got rid of you. Let's see how much these guys like me or not. Because of course I don't. Ha I have less power than I did before. So they might end up not liking us a bit. But it is what it is. I, I, I'm not that worried. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sell this territory piece by piece now. There's nothing else I can do. And luckily, there's not actually that much of it to sell. It, it, it could be worse. Um, you all actually love me. Even with, like, no men raised. So I'm honestly not that worried about it at all. So what I'm going to do, we're going to get army maintenance down. Um, we'll get fleet maintenance down. So I'm making 45 gold per month now. Which is a lot. It is a significant amount. And now we just stockpile as much as possible. Infrastructure improved, which is great stuff. Let's see, now I'm at 608 and I've got two aqueducts to build. I could do with more. Hopefully I can get some more PI and we can get more stuff going. Um, what about over here? Can I get a claim? Oh, I need a little bit more. Let's see if I can start making a claim on this guy. Yeah, I'm going to start watching you. I don't want someone to kill me. Yeah, I'm going to make a claim on... Venetio over here and of course then I can add this to the client they're allied with Osismia, yeah they are so that's a good thing to do because this allows me to then potentially grow this client on the coast all the way up here and more, the more land he has of course the bigger he's going to be and the more money he's going to have and the more men he's going to have and the more everything he's going to have and Sabonia stops being a tributary I might literally hand you over to you at some point. I might actually break tribute status with these guys. And I could literally hand all these over to this dude. That might be a possible solution. I see a potential a potential thing to do there. But again, I do apologize. This is like really boring to do, but I have to do it. What's the plot? Kill a claimant to the throne. I mean, do I have any children? 
I don't really have any children, so I'm not bothered about the plot. So, I'm not going to take any action. I really don't care about what is going on, to be honest. It's not our problem. All I'm cared about now is gearing up for the eventual war with Rome, and that includes me selling this land as much as possible. Um, someone died, so plot theft? No, it was stealing. So, someone stole from someone, but again, it's not really much of a problem. Apparently, you also want to know, but I don't care about you. You've got no power base, so whatever, my friend. I really don't care. Keep selling this stuff. Keep an eye on Rome. They're still fighting on the other side, but... We need, more. We need, we need them to be occupied. I think the only chance I can have in beating them is if they get occupied. And if they get occupied, then we can take them on. Like, literally take them on that way. Uh, I've only got 10 PI. I need more. More PI is needed. Oh, this is you. Let's go take that. I, I hate selling the land like this. I really do. I, I really wish that they would do... something to help with that. It just literally takes forever. Um, now we're going to go for another elephant. Because I want the top um, output, which is 3% per elephant. And then we'll go for another bit of grain. Of course, to up, keep, make sure we have enough food. I've now got 618, 618 pop slots, which is quite nice. What is our... Yeah, I'm putting in so many slaves, I can't keep up with the promotion. It's pretty damn crazy, to be honest. <laughs> it is actually really insane. Um, we've got a nice fortress there, which is good. That's going to hold off a little bit, I think, which is going to help us hold off any Roman invasion if they do end up coming over when we do declare the war. Take you guys on, that's fine. We'll sell all this to you. But I hate this. I really hate this. Oh, well, we dropped power status, which is good. I'm happy with that. I just, I mean, I had to I had to do it this way. There's no other way that I could do it. I had to take it. Considering that these weren't, like... Wow, okay, we've got, like, no family members left. This is pretty crazy. Our line is literally dying out. And I can't get you to marry. Yeah, this isn't good. Our, our line is, like, really dying. This is really, really weird. Um... I have to adopt someone. Yeah, I think I might have to adopt. What about you? You're 29. Are you married? None of them are married. Um, I might have to adopt a few characters. We are seriously running out of competent people to run the country. Which is quite worrying, to be honest. So, I can get rid of one green guy, but I've got another green guy. It's weird. Why do I have, like, two green guys? That doesn't make sense. Um, so I'll get rid of a Budidius, whoever that is, like you for example, but this guy's actually way better, so I'm going to put this one. Um, what about you? Uh, yeah, I can get, I'll put you instead, I'm not really that bothered about, um, aggressive, well actually no, you are researching your peed off now, because your family's scorned I think. Or is, is it? No, it's not. You're a boo diddy eye. Because you're a pretender now. But I'll bribe you. Bribe solves all the problems. Um, and I need another... Oh, I need an OCD now, but I don't have enough... I don't even have enough people. Oh, this is insane. I literally have no characters to run the country. So, we're just going to leave it like that. Are you, like, married, got children? I can adopt you. If I adopt you, do I adopt your children? Let's try this. If I adopt you... Okay. Do your children get called into the family? No, but I'm going to have to adopt them. So, I'm going to adopt his children as well. All right. Stop you. I'm going to be losing legitimacy here, but... I mean, whatever. I've got negative stability, but I can get it back, so I'm going to adopt you. And I'll adopt this last one. Okay, yeah. I, I needed to adopt some characters, because our lines are dying out. Like, literally dying out like crazy. The Navy needs a commander. Oh, yes, thank God we've got someone decent. So, that should get rid of the Scorn family. No, it hasn't. I need to give it a Recidi now. Which is annoying. What about in Tech? You're not that good. So this guy, I'm going to give it to you. And I get rid of a boo diddy in the officers. 
I think I can do that. Like, you, for example, I can get rid of, maybe? I can have better. I, I don't know if this is going to have better, though. Oh, no. I have these two. So you're crapping everything, and you've got good... Um, got good oratory. But apart from that, you're goddamn awful. Is there anyone else? No. So there's not much I can do here. So they're going to have to stay scorned for the moment. Yep, they're going to have to stay scorned for the time being. I, I can't do anything else to help them. I'll sell this to you quickly. But I really hate selling land. I literally hate everything about it. Thank God when um, Invictus mod comes out. It's just going to be so much better. I could sell just whole provinces. Instead of having to like wait. Sell individual pieces of land. Are they at war with Ritania now? For God's sake. Are they ever going to be at war with like anyone else. I, I, I just want them to go to war with someone over on the other side. And as soon as that happens, I'm just going to march in there and just kind of smash them. Alright, let's sell territory. Well, that's you. Thank you. Do I want another claim? I probably want to... I mean, I've got a claim on Corsica. That's pretty easy to lock down, I think. Yeah, I've got a claim on Corsica. That is super easy to lock down. Uh, the fighting over here as well, which is pretty annoying. I would like to take on Sabonia again. Stop Rome from getting it. I mean, that would be nice if I could do that. You're nearly done, Jesus Christ. Nearly, goddamn nearly. It looks like it takes forever to sell everything. Sell, sell, sell. Come on. Oh, I'm nicely going forward. I didn't realise that I wasn't actually moving. Um, Extra tech, which is nice. We'll take that. Sell this here. You can have that, dude. Fine. Um, now we've got some tech. Again, I'm going to go professional training here. Because I want this for the extra discipline. Plus 5% discipline is quite nice indeed. I have 2 grand now. I may be able to get building a Great Wonder. But I don't want it. I need the gold for the Mercs. I mean... I mean, the priority has got to be Rome. It has to be. It has to be fighting Rome. And it's not building a Great Wonder. Well, well I'll, I'll see. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. I'll tell you this... Yeah, this guy's going to be happy. He's he's going to. He, we've made him bigger. He, he's maybe lost of like he may have lost his independence, but he has more land and more influence than he did before. Um, ooh, gain two hundred gold for four tribals. Yep, I'll take that. Oh yeah, because I'm sending the land here. It's for this land over here, so I'm sending it basically. So I don't care. I don't even own it. So, well, I won't be owning it when I get rid of them. All. Um, Adramentum stopped being a tributary. So I could take these guys on, actually. Um, yeah, I could take them on next, which, I, which I'm which i going to do now, to be honest. Um, had you mentioned you allied with anybody? Not really. I'll just hire a Merc stack. Is there any Merc stacks I can find? I'll probably take you guys out as well. Yeah, I can actually take you. I think we might actually finish these off. I'll cancel military access. Um, where's the Mercs? I've got a 14k stack. Oh, yes, you're being hired straight away, dude. Like, straight away. So, we'll get you to reorganize. You've got enough food to survive quite a while. I'll pull you over here pretty quickly. Probably have another Merc stack, to be honest. Well, okay, you've got nine Marshall, but yeah, whatever, you'll do. You'll do, you'll do, you'll do, you'll do. Just so I have, like, a few men over on this side. And so I can actually quickly wipe these out. I, I want to do take them out before Rome do. I know Rome are going to have an idea of taking them on. So, if we can do it before they get there, then I'll be happy. Um, extra trade routes. I have way more than enough food here, which is pretty damn crazy. And I'm going to go for extra horses, of course. Go for the extra output. Again, our output... What is our output? We have 111% output. Plus 90% from the goddamn horses, which is quite a lot. I've got another aqueduct that can be built. I have a load of pot capacity, which is really damn good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I may be able to, like... I may be able to do something pretty decent with the city. I, I, I'm going to be cutting it short, but we may be able to do something. Well, I'll just quickly sell the last of this land here. So you can get rid of it. Um, are you guys there yet? Nearly, so I'll declare war as soon as we get over there. Um, I'll probably just declare war in the next episode. I'm not going to have time to do it here, I don't think, so I'll just do it in the next one. I mean, there's been a lot of me selling land, so I do apologise. I mean, I can't do any other way. Again, when Invictus comes out, I'll be incredibly happy for it to be here. And I can actually then deal with it. And just sell province at a time. Which would be the best thing to do. I'll sell this to you now, which is great stuff. Okay, so now we've got rid of all this, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. I think I don't need a governor. I don't need a governor there anymore. A Sabonia. I'm going to want to eat these up as well pretty quickly. Maybe I can hand it to you. 
I, mean, I don't know if I could. If I, if I could, I would like to. Well, I could just hand it to Emporion, to be honest. I can just make Emporion bigger. I mean, that is a possibility, and I think that is what I'm going to do. I'll just do a wall on two fronts. Great, why not? Do you have any friends? You have no friends. You literally have no friends. So, you know what? I'm going to raise my levies out of my governorship. I'll quickly reorganize you. I I'm not bothered about it any other way. All right, so now we've got you guys ready. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a cut here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. The next one will take out Hadramentum here, who I allied with Carthage. And I can just take them out at the same time, which is good. And I'll just hand all of this to Numidia again. There's no reason why I can't do that. Um, I'll also go to war with Savonia. I'll hand it to Emporion. And then, hopefully, by then, I will be in a like, good enough position to take out Rome. Or try to, anyway. That is the goal for the last major war. Uh, but anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed things, then please do not hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more content just like this, then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thanks again for being here, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.